Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of SeasonAndServe.com. Today we are outside in our garden and I'll be giving you a summer garden tour. We have been gardening since March of this year and I wanted to give you guys an update on what we were growing and how everything is looking so far. We have lots of different plants on the go from lettuce to berries to pumpkins. So if you're interested in seeing what we're growing, just keep on watching. And I'll start off with our raised garden bed, and this is where we're mainly growing our leafy greens and our tomatoes. I'll start off by showing you our kale plants, and they have been doing amazingly well this year. We have four kale plants growing, and for the two of us, it is the perfect amount. I've been using kale in everything from smoothies to salads to stir fries. It's been wonderful. I'm also experimenting this year with growing them over the winter, so I will let you know how that goes. And if you thought we had a lot of kale, you gotta check out how much lettuce we have. It's a little bit crazy. We went a little overboard on the planting, but lettuce is so good for you. And these varieties of green and red lettuce are absolutely perfect. They're super crisp when they're harvested fresh from the garden and they go great in salads. And they're also really great steamed with a little bit of garlic and soy sauce. So if you haven't had lettuce like that, I definitely recommend it. Along the back portion of our raised garden bed, we are growing some peas and we planted these from seed in early April and they have been growing so well so far. I love planting plants from seed because you see how they start off so small and they grow to be something so big and so beautiful. We've been enjoying peas for quite a while. We've had at least two or three harvests and there's still lots of blossoms that are coming out on the plant. So we'll be able to enjoy peas for a lot longer this summer. Right next to the peas, we're also growing some beans, and we planted these from seed at the same time that we did the peas in early April, and as you can see, they've grown up super well. And here we sort of planted a mixed variety of beans, so we have some pink beans, some purple beans, some yellow beans, and green beans. I don't know which plant is which exactly yet, so it'll be a little surprise when the beans start to grow, hopefully in the next few months. And now on to my favorite plant to grow in the garden, tomatoes. And as you can see here, we have lots of tomato plants that are growing. In the raised garden bed, I'm growing four different varieties of tomatoes. I have yellow tomatoes, red tomatoes, green zebra tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. I absolutely love fresh tomatoes from the garden. There is nothing like it. And this is definitely a plant that you guys have to do in your garden or on your porch or balcony, wherever you have space. And overall this year, the plants have been doing really well. They've been really bushy and they've grown nice and tall and they've started to put out flowers on all of our plants. And on our cherry tomato plant, we are seeing some little cherry tomatoes start to grow. So super exciting to see how they go from flowers to fruit. It is the best transformation. Right next to our tomatoes, we have a big planter pot full of strawberries. We actually have to keep the planter pot inside of our little makeshift fence because the squirrel loves to come and eat the strawberries. So as you can see, there's lots of flowers and some little berries starting to form and I can't wait to have a fresh strawberry from the garden. And here you can see our beautiful green onions. And these were actually grown from our leftover kitchen scraps. So we basically took some green onions that we bought at the store, chopped the ends off and planted the roots out in the garden and they grew into these long and beautiful and big green onions. This was a really great way to reuse some leftover kitchen scraps and as you can see, they are doing amazing too. Now moving on to my favorite Asian vegetable, bok choy. These are actually some flowers from some bok choy plants that actually bolted earlier this spring. I think it just got really hot and all the plants went crazy. But as a backup, we did plant some more from seed and they're growing quite quickly every day. So soon we should have another bok choy harvest. And that was our raised garden bed. Now let's move down to our lower garden bed where we have our vine plants and our herb garden. So first up in this garden bed, we have our zucchini. And this year we are growing both green and yellow zucchini. There are lots of zucchinis growing, but we haven't had our first harvest yet, but it is coming in the next few days for sure. A great tip to growing zucchini that I learned is to actually add in some eggshells, and this provides a plant with lots of calcium that helps it grow big and strong and produce lots of fruit. 
Right next to our zucchinis, we have some cucumbers. And as you can see here, there are little itty bitty cucumbers that are growing. They are fairly spiky. They're not the smooth English cucumber kind. They are definitely a field cucumber. So you have to peel these ones, but they are starting off super small and I can't wait to see how big they can get. And this plant here is one of my little experiments for this year. I'm actually growing eggplant. And this is the Japanese eggplant variety, the nice long and slender eggplant. And I have five plants growing here. They're still pretty small. They're not putting on too much growth yet, but I'm excited to see how they turn out. So I will keep you guys posted on the eggplants. If you saw my spring planting video, you will see that I planted some potatoes. And in here we have some Yukon Golds and some purple potatoes. I decided to plant these in containers this year just to make the harvest a little bit easier than having to dig up the soil and fish out all the potatoes. In this lower garden bed, we're also growing a bunch of herbs. As you can see, we have a beautiful big chive plant growing along with some thyme. We also have a bunch of mint that we actually are growing in a pot, not in the ground because it'll grow a little bit too wild if you plant it in the ground. And we also have our beautiful big rosemary bush. If you guys ever need rosemary, just let me know and I'll give it to you for free. We are also growing some jalapeno peppers and this plant is really, really small. It got a little bit crowded out, but it is producing lots of flowers so far and it looks like it might produce quite a few jalapenos. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on this one and see how it turns out. We also have this beautiful greenhouse in our backyard and I absolutely love it. So let's go in and take a look at what is growing inside. First up, we have some Phileas blue peppers. These again are another experiment. I haven't grown these before, but they look so beautiful and apparently they're very spicy peppers. I also have some beautiful Genovese basil growing in a pot as well. And with all those tomatoes, you need lots of basil and this plant has been doing excellent. Right next to the basil, we also have a little bit of Thai basil. That plant's not doing too good, but we do have a couple leaves on there that we can use. So a little bit of Thai basil, I'm happy with that. We are also growing some beautiful green beans in the greenhouse. And these green beans are like the typical green beans that you'd buy at the grocery store, the nice tender ones that you can steam or add to stir fries. A little bit different compared to the beans that we're growing out on the trellis, but we grew these last year and they're absolutely amazing. Now my other little experiment that I'm super excited for, tomatillos, and I can't believe these actually grew. I started them from seed and they have grown nice and big and strong. They have flowers and they even have little itty bitty tomatillos growing as you can see here. So I'm super excited to see how these turn out. In the far corner of our garden, we have our little berry patch and we have two different types of berries growing here. In this area, we have six blueberry bushes that are growing. And as you can see, the blueberries have started to ripen and get that nice deep dark blue. We've actually had a couple that we've snuck from the garden already and they are absolutely delicious and so juicy this year. As you can see, the plants are really full of blueberries. So I think this year we're gonna have a high yield and I hope it's high enough that I can make a homemade blueberry pie with blueberries from the garden. I think that would be super awesome. And right next to our blueberries, we have our raspberries. And as you can see, they are slowly starting to ripen. They're a little bit difficult to find within this deep sea of green foliage, but when you do, they are an absolute treat to have in the summer. I am super happy to also have some raspberry bushes because my grandparents used to have raspberry bushes. And whenever I eat a raspberry straight from the garden in the summer, I always think of them. And this cute little bee likes the raspberries too. And out in the front yard, I'm doing a little fall garden with lots of squash and corn. So here the vine plants are mostly pumpkins and I actually grew some Cinderella pumpkins this year. I actually just grew it from seed from a whole Cinderella pumpkin that I bought last fall and they have been doing pretty good. They're starting to trail, they're starting to get really big and produce flowers. So we'll see exactly how big these guys can get. I've never grown pumpkins before either. So I'm super excited to see how these turn out. I'm also trying to grow a Hubbard squash and some butternut squash in this flower bed as well, but they're not growing as fast as the pumpkins are and I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll see how they turn out. It's my first year growing them, so maybe I will learn some stuff for next year. And last but not least, we have our corn. 
This is another experiment for 2020 and so far the corn has been growing really well. I didn't grow these from seed, I actually picked up some corn starter plants from the garden center, but so far they have been doing pretty good. I actually have them split up in the backyard and the front yard, and the ones in the backyard, like this one, has been growing a lot better. So I think that's due to the lighting situation, but if they don't actually produce ears of corn, I will definitely use them for decoration in the fall, so none of it will go to waste. And that is it for our early summer garden tour. We are just at the beginning of summer and I know over the next few months, our garden is gonna to continue to grow, change, and evolve. If you wanna stay updated on the progress of our garden, hit the subscribe button as I will be posting more gardening videos and garden updates as the season progresses. Also, if you're curious to see how I planned and planted our garden early spring, you can go into my gardening playlist on my YouTube channel and watch a bunch of gardening videos. They're super fun and I know you guys will enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.